Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Making Musical Notes Appear in Captions, I'm going to show you how you can insert characters that will appear as musical notes on the caption screen. This is achieved using the Special Character window, and the Musical Note character is a default character available within Eclipse. Musical notes can be defined as regular text within dictionary entries, and you can have a standalone entry to represent the musical note, or you can tie them into longer entries. I have a sample document open that has a few phrases that I'm going to surround with music notes. The first entry in this document that I'm going to add music notes to is this entry for lively music playing, and this is a single stroke entry for me. I'm going to global it, and in the global window I can insert a symbol that will convert into the music note directly. To do this, I'm going to place my cursor in the location I'd like the music note to appear, and I'll press Control w And in Eclipse, the music note is represented by the paragraph symbol. So I can select the paragraph symbol and press OK, and the paragraph symbol will be entered as regular text into my dictionary entry. And when the caption screen receives this text entry, it will convert it automatically into a music note. I'm going to also insert a space just because I think it looks better, and I'm going to insert the same thing at the end of this entry. And you see that now the phrase lively music playing will come up surrounded by music notes on its own paragraph. I'll press OK to enter this into my main dictionary. And I'm going to do the same thing with the phrase music ends. I'll place my cursor where I'd like the symbol to show up, press Control W, and select the symbol. And I can put it anywhere in the entry that I'd like. It doesn't have to be at the beginning or end. Anywhere that you need the music symbol to appear, you can use Control w and select the paragraph symbol, and your closed caption encoder will convert it automatically to the music symbol wherever you feel it is appropriate. I'm going to repeat the same thing one more time for this phrase, Pet Spotlight Theme Playing. And not only can you include this in existing entries, it can also be a standalone entry. In this case, I have a single stroke and I want this defined as the music note. So I'm going to global this stroke. I'll press Control W and I'm going to select the paragraph symbol. And this is the only syntax necessary in order for the music symbol to be converted by the encoder. I'll press OK. And you see that both of these entries in my document have now changed and I know that when I translate them in the future, the closed captioning encoder is going to convert them to a music note appropriately. And we can test that by running a virtual real-time translation of this file. I'll press Alt-T, I'll select virtual real-time, and I'm going to go ahead and press OK to translate this file. My first set of music notes is going to be as soon as the commercial break begins, so I'm going to push out all of those strokes. Next, I'm going to blank my caption screen. And the next entry that comes up on the closed caption preview window will contain the musical notes. And you see that as I continue to write, my text appears normally. And anytime the musical notes are encountered, instead of displaying as the paragraph symbol, as shown in Eclipse, it will instead display as the musical notes. And here you see again that the musical notes have appeared around my text exactly as I requested. And again, if you don't like the spaces between the word and the musical note, you don't have to have the space there. The musical note acts just like any other part of text, and you can insert it anywhere in your entry that you want it to appear. And it will appear just like any other letter in your entry. At the end of this file, we're going to next translate the standalone entries. And here you see that as soon as the music note translated, it showed up all on its lonesome in the closed caption preview window. 
And so no matter how you need to use the musical note entries, you can be assured that they're always going to come out no matter how you're using them in your dictionary, whether you have a standalone entry or you tie them into existing entries within your dictionary. Whatever standards, practices, or norms you have to adhere to, the musical note will always appear exactly where you ask it to, so you can ensure that your captions always meet and exceed the expectations of your clients. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you'll be able to easily incorporate music note indicators within your captioning. As a reminder, Advantage Software offers anytime support 24-7. Tech support can be reached with any question at any time, including weekends and holidays at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when we publish new content in the future. And if you know someone who would benefit from or enjoy our videos, please feel free to share the channel with them. Thank you so much and have a great day.